I grew up in a family where the world's problems were right on my own doorstep because so many of my siblings were adopted from the most difficult and darkest corners of the world, um, you know, drawn from places just rife with conflict, um, devoid of any kind of opportunity for a future. Um, and I got to see what happens when you take someone from that kind of a background and give them a voice, give them an opportunity. I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying everybody's life wound up perfect. Um, but I, I did uh, see firsthand just how disenfranchised so many people are. And I, I felt a real compulsion to try to do my part. If you talk to everybody in my family, I'm sure everyone would have a different take. And I think there were people who really kind of resented that my mom was adopting all these kids, you know, and rather than having a comfortable life with a couple of kids, you know, I was one of 14 and, you know, my, my mom was a single working mom and it wasn't always easy. Um, so I think some people did respond by saying, well, why? And for me, you know, I just... I was very fortunate in that my mom had such a strong spirit of public service and you know the people I loved most my siblings were an embodiment of that commitment to giving back and helping other people um, just the fact that they were there was you know a, a living testament to the power of giving back so you know look I, I didn't always feel I could live up to that I definitely didn't emerge from my childhood thinking you know what I want to do adopt 14 kids but I, I did think um, you know, look, if you're in life and have the gifts and opportunities to give back in some way, you got to do it.